Hello. Um, so I made a video recently about Russell Brand. Um, I want to talk a bit about Pat Condell, who's another well-known figure. Um, he is uh, he's described in his Wikipedia article as a comedian, um, but he's got quite a lot of attention over the last few years for his video videos about especially radical Islam, but religion in general and his um his contempt for it um i'm making this because there's a few things i want to discuss but also uh, just to balance it out from the uh, russell brand video both these guys get them in their ways um okay so with pat Bondell, um i came across him first about three or four years ago and um actually maybe a bit more than that and I, I tied into a lot of what he was saying, and I still think a lot of the things he said um, has truth in it. Um, we do have a serious problem with radical Islam. We do have a problem with political Islamism. And I tied into a lot of what he was saying about the political correctness around us in the sense that there is, certainly when he started off, there was too much sensitivity. and. Um, you know, we were not doing enough to just address the problem for what it was. Okay, I accept all of that. And I've no problem with him taking an issue of the darker, uglier sides of religion. However, over time, I've started to notice that all of Pat Condell's videos are negative. All of them are about um, the same sort of subjects connected with religion and over time, I've started to realize this is actually a very bitter man who relies on religion. And I do think he's boosted by his own ego. I think that Pat Condell sees himself as a sort of um, radical hero against political correctness. And um, if you listen to the way he talks in his videos, he's very, very, very arrogant. Um, he seems to think he knows everything. Um, in many circumstances, I mean, you see, the issue here for me isn't the fact that he's criticizing radical Islam. That's anyone with common sense would recognize that as a problem, right? Rather, the problem I have with Pat Condell is his incredible arrogance that he seems to think he knows best. Um, I came across one video where he was ranting about The Guardian, which he calls Britain's ugliest newspaper. Well, this guy... Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he's a daily, daily mail reader, which, because it sort of ties into his own approach, being judge, jury, and executioner, thinking he's got a monopoly on truth. Um, he doesn't even attempt to show any objectivity in his videos. I mean, if he was talking about radical Islam, but saying something like, but I recognize there are, there are some people within the Muslim community who are trying to do something about like this. Um, I mean, he's never, ever made an attempt to recognize moderates within religion. Um, you know, he's never had a word about the British Muslims for secular democracy or other groups like that. If he was saying, for example, uh, we have a problem with too many people making excuses for it, so that, that's fair enough, but I do think he lacks objectivity. And basically, he strikes me as a rabble rouser. Um, he's not brave. Okay, because he's not taking any major personal risks. No one knows where he lives. It's 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 a YouTube video, and that you know it doesn't take the same sort of risks as someone, for example, um, publishing a book about radical Islam or um, a politician in a dangerous country standing up to them. Those people are a lot braver. Another thing I resent about Pat Condell is he will deny this, but he does inadvertently demonize all religious people for example and um, he would have a rant about the clergy and just make a sweeping statement about the entire clergy because of for example the Catholic abuse scandal which was a massive problem no question about that but he utterly fails to recognize that for example there are clergy working in some of the most dirt poor countries in the world trying to not trying to evangelize not trying to convert people but just trying to do the right thing um, in fact, very often religious people are on the forefront of humanitarian work, something that the likes of Condell don't recognise. No doubt his response would be, oh, you don't need to be religious to do that. I know that. 
I know that. But the point is he is demonizing all religious people. And I think that is pathetic. Um, there's frankly religious people in this world, people of faith, who are a lot braver than he will ever be. And they're anonymous. You know, they don't have millions of subscribers. They, in many cases, are working very difficult circumstances. Sometimes they take, more often than not, in fact, they take personal risks to do it. Um, you see, the point I'm making here is not that the things he's saying is not true. Okay, I don't have an issue with so much of the content of what he's saying. Rather, the fact that he has no objectivity and he's not trying to balance this out with offering anything productive whatsoever. He's not trying to build bridges. He's not trying to um, offer anything constructive to deal with these problems. Um, the guy's basically, I, I have little time for him. I think he's a hard right, blow hard egomaniac. And um, this is something, you know, I haven't just watched one or two of his videos and come to this conclusion. I've seen a lot of his videos. So I believe that I am in position to form a view on the, the stance that he takes. And this isn't about political correctness. I have no problem with people saying controversial things. But over time, I just think that this guy is driven by ego. Um, and he, he strikes me as a sort of real-life Victor Meldrew. He's clearly a very, very bitter individual. Um, and, you know, a lot of the things he's saying, like I say, it's, it isn't about the content. It's about the way he's doing it. It's about the lack of objectivity and the lack of um, looking at the whole picture that I take issue with. Um, I mean, when he talks about Christianity and Islam just being 100% bad, right? He's utterly failing to recognize the fact that 4 billion people adhere to these religions. So does he really believe 4 billion people are brainwashed fools? I don't. Um, and I just think it's it's a crude way he goes about this that's uh, reckless. You know, I, I supported him at first because I thought he was saying things that needed to be said. And uh, I still think those things need to be said, but I, I think the way he is doing it is crass and lazy. And uh, it's not as original as he thinks it is. I don't think he's particularly radical. He's not saying anything different from what UKIP or the BMP or the EDL or any of those groups are saying. Um, also, for someone who's so obsessed about theocracies trying to control people, he seems to be pretty damn determined to dictate to how other people should think as well. I mean, he had a video telling people they should vote for UKIP. Not saying I believe in UKIP for A, B and C reasons, but telling people they should vote for UKIP. So, fuck him. Um, clearly, the guy is driven by ego. Okay, I'm, I'm opinionated as well. I concede that I am opinionated, but I try. I at least try to be objective in most of my videos and at least try to venture into the other point of view. But this guy just gets into rants. Um, he relies on religion. No religion, Pat Condell wouldn't have the sort of fame he has. He relies on it. I mean, does he ever talk about any other subject? You know, this guy's a one-hit wonder. 